What's going on YouTube? This is 3 Inferno. So, um, we're here to go over my top 16 deck list. Um, I don't got a deck profile on it, but I'm going to go over some of the cards, um, tell you why I ran some of these cards and why I didn't run some other cards. So, um, here we go. Let's start us off. 3 Gen X Undines. Um, if you don't know what they do, uh, when this card is normal summon, you can send one water monster from your deck to the graveyard to add one Gen X controller from your deck to your hand. So you run two Gen X controllers with that. These are good because they can alert, um, you can lure them away and also um, run locomotion. Um, you have your two Treeborns and your one Fishborg. Um, it's okay to draw these because Gen X Undyne, if you have Fishborg uh, in your hand, you can pitch Treeborn and then next turn summon Fishborg Blaster. Uh, that's also why I ran a Swap Frog. Um, you can normal summon to pitch Treeborn or special summon with discarding Fishborg to get Treeborn to your graveyard. Um, so this is a water setup right here. Then we have the plant engine, um, staple five, two lone fires, a dandelion, a spore, and a glow bulb. Um, pretty standard for that part. Um, you run your two veilers. Veilers are really good. Um, you always need them. I'd run them in every deck almost. Um, three tangus. Tangus are broken, especially with pot of avarice to um, to refuel. Then here's your birdman. Birdman is really good with tangu. It's also another genix. For uh, locomotion, um, and it's allurable, so pretty good. Right here, makes black roads with Tengu easily. You have your one sorcerer. Um, sorcerer is just really good right now. Um, it's one of the power cards by itself in the deck, and I only run one because there are only two lights, two veilers. So, um, and you don't really want to remove your light synchros like um, Formula Synchron or Magical Android. So, one sorcerer is enough. Uh, and I try to cut limit on dead draws, so there's only one Kais in there as well. Um, even though Kais is really good against things like oppression, um, just f very few spies, anything face down like that. You know. And you have your Gores and Trigodia. Um, Trigodia is really useful in this deck because you can make easy Trishlas, or I can um, turn into a level 6 and make Locomotion again. I know I keep mentioning Locomotion, but that card is amazing. And Gores has won me so many games and um, just so many games so and then finally maliciouses two maliciouses um, these are really good these make help me make a level 8 really easily um, if I have treeborn and fishborn in my graveyard I special treeborn and pitch to my graveyard to um, special fishborn remove from my graveyard to special summon malicious and then make a formula and then a level 8 or even the Trishla or anything like that. Okay, now what did I leave out? A lot of plant decks run cards like Raiko, um, Lila, Card Trooper. Now the reason I omitted these cards from my deck is because of the inconsistencies. Um, even though Card Trooper lets you draw a card, which is important, um, I just can't have. I don't like random milling of cards. Um, you randomly mill all your power cards that you want in your hand, like Tengu. Um, one time I was pl test playing with a card trooper and a battle fader instead of two malicious. I had summoned Tengu and attacked. Um, he set and go. Then I drew a card trooper, summoned it, activated his effect for three cards, and it milled both Tengus and a pot of avarice. Bad. Um, mi ba random milling is not something I like at all. Um, Debris Dragon, I was thinking about running Debris Dragon. For how many targets? Um, well, the regular targets like this, and that's it. So I ha there's a decent amount of targets for debris dragon, but what can I make with a level five dragon? Nothing. With a fish tuner, nothing. I mean, these of course for black rose. Um, but the thing is, the reason, one of the main reasons why is because in my extra deck I just had no room to run iron chain dragon. Um, and some people think I should have run iron chain over guy knight, and it, I could have the debris. But, um, I really didn't think that was necessary. Then we go to the spells. Um, you have your Foolish Burial. Okay. Staple in plants and this deck also for Treeborn and Fishborg. Um, then you have your Book of Moon. This is one of the... I needed to... I was about to omit this, put in my side deck maybe. But I really needed this card for defensive purposes to stop um, swarms. It's like one of my only defensive tra um, spells and traps I'd ever set turn one. Besides, an enemy controller, I would never really set turn one. You run three pot of avarices. 
Um, again, just a really good card. Put five back, draw two. Um, recycle your Tengus plus. You have your two enemy controllers. Um, they're really good for defense. They're also for tributing Tribal and Frog to take control of a monster, etc. You know the drill. Um, then you have your Allure Darkness. There's a total of about, let's see, how many darks? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine darks. And two of them are searchable. Genesis controllers are searchable, so pretty good. You have your one for one, your plant engine, of course. Mind control, there are so many tuners in this deck, like um, one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, eight tuners, and formulas are also tuners, so mind control, amazing. Um, two space typhoon and giant tornado, just rant, uh, always staple, dark hole, and monster reborn. So th it comes out to 41 cards. I tried to cut out one part of Avarice to keep Book of Moon in, but I decided just run 41 and forget it, who cares? 41 is 41. Um, now to my extra deck. Oh. My extra deck. Three formula synchrons. One armory arm. Uh, even though the armory arm loop doesn't work anymore, uh, armory arm is still a really good card. Um, if you go dandelion and lone fire and spore, make a level four, you have to run armory arm. Um, then you have catastrophe and android. Um, I really, at first I was only thinking about running Cataster, but I really felt I needed another level 5 because Undyne stays on the field more often than I thought it would. Um, so I make a formula and I have to make a 5 after that. And, um, next, Bryo and Gaia Knight. Um, Gaia Knight is really vital. Um, people have been saying why not Iron Chains and then run Debris. But Gaia Knight, with Robber of Warlords out, when I play, um, 6 Sams, I make a, um, I can still make Guy Knight if I steal their um, monsters with Puppet Plant and they activate Rival Warlords. So that's good. And you know, Black Rose Dragon. Um, only ran one level 7. Arcanite is, um, was also, I tried to fit Arcanite, but for only one Chaos Sorcerer, I couldn't really put it in. Then you have your level 8s. Your three best level eights are here, Scrap Dragon, Colossal Fighter, and Stardust Dragon. Um, and these are just, I think, staples. Um, I tried to find room for Thought Ruler, and I just couldn't. There was no room. Um, then your level nines. You have Locomotion, which I keep talking about. Um, Jason, when he deck profiled this, he made a typo. He said that this card can steal any card I want, but it's only the one with the highest level. Which is still usually the best card. The card that I want, but it's not my choice. So there that is. And you have Trishula, Dragon the Ice Barrier, of course. Uh, I tried to fit two. Again, no room. But realistically this was enough. The one was enough and I always put it back with Pot of Avarice. And then Shooting Star Dragon. Shooting Star Dragon won me so many matches. People just couldn't get over the shooting star. And I make it so easily. Um, and that's the extra deck, 15 cards. And then, here comes the side deck. So, so the traps. Malevolent Catastrophe is just a pretty much a staple in a fish or a monarch or frog or plants, whatever, that doesn't run any many spells or traps. Um, then we have a Torrential. There's most people side out their spaces and um, giant grenades and all that, whatnot. Um, next, you have two fairy winds. Fairy Winds, um, th these are devastating cards, especially against Grave Keepers. Um, destroys their Necro Valley, their Oppression. Um, against Samurai, it destroys their Rivalry of Warlords, um, Gateways, Dojos, Uniteds, uh, everything like that. One time when I was test playing, I blew my friend's complete black, um, back row. He had a Phoenix Chain that was not uh, attached to anything anymore. A D Fissure, a Sh United, a Dojo, and a uh, Rival of Warlords. He summoned, he had one card in hand, he summoned it, and activated Fairwind, blew all five, and he scooped up. So amazing. Um, then we'll go No Moon Across Out, just good against plants, against, um, I guess, well, I hit worms with it, I brought worms. Um, for um, Grave Keepers, for anything that sets a lot. And you're smashing ground for matches like um, Elemental Heroes, 
gravekeepers when I bring out Cyber Dragon and I beat, smash all their big spies and whatever. Okay, one DD Crow. Um, Matt, Plants is one of my hardest matchups, so I only sided one Crow, and I always drew it when I needed it. It was very useful. And yep. Then we have three puppet plants. Again, just because of so many tuners that I run, I run the maximum amount of puppet plants for Gravekeepers and Samurai. Um, then you have your two Thunder Kings and two Siders, and then your Chimera Tech. Um, these cards are just big beaters. They're really good against Gladiator Beasts. I sided these in, side them against um, just everything. All right, and that's it, man. Um, so I will put up a complete deck list, even though it will be posted soon by Konami, but, um, yep, that's everything. Thanks for the support, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. 3Z Inferno, signing out.